case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The Louisiana Court of Appeal in 1999 was at the center of a compelling medical negligence case, Stroud v. Golson. This case established a precedent in the realm of medical malpractice. The core focus of the case was to determine if a patient, who has lost their chance of survival due to medical negligence, could recover damages, and how such damages should be quantified. At the heart of the conflict was the Louisiana Patients' Compensation Fund's PCF appeal to a $1.5 million jury verdict. The case hinged on an unfortunate patient who had suffered through late diagnosis of lung cancer. While the PCF admitted to medical negligence, they held strong that despite the delayed diagnosis, the patient's cancer would have led to their death. However, the jury reached a verdict stating the patient had an undeniable lost chance of survival due to PCF's negligence. Subsequently, the jury awarded a substantial $1.5 million in damages. Despite the substantial award, the trial court acted within the limits of the medical malpractice cap. It prudently reduced the awarded amount to $400,000. Allegations of the jury's lack of understanding of the law and resultant abusive verdict led PCF to take the judicial path again, causing the appeal. However, the court deemed the verdict to be reasonable. It fell within the brackets of the statutory cap and upheld the trial court's decision permitting testimony about the patient's state of mind regarding her disease and treatment. This landmark decision left the defendant, PCF, bearing the responsibility for costs. The verdict upheld the patient's right to recovery, attesting to the validity of the claims brought forth due to PCF's negligence. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.